Sandy Ingram here. Welcome to the Education Matrix channel, where we provide the latest news surrounding a country's foreign currency rate. We mostly talk about the IQD, the Vietnam Dong, and the Zem Dollar. We also provide information on low-cost investment options to round out our financial profile. And in today's video, we have news on how the U.S. Congress is protecting itself from previous decisions made regarding Iraq, along with an exceptional investment tip for a company like no other company in the world, and it could render great profit potential. Are you ready? Let's get started. First, important news from Iraq. Iraqi youth enjoy jet skiing on the Tigris River. While this is great news, we later learned that a town in Iraq says oil production pollution is killing them. Let's take a look and a listen. People living in the village of Bahla take visitors here. They say gas flaring from oil production decimated their generations old palm trees, leaving behind nothing but trunks. When we met the village elders, they said everyone knows someone who is diagnosed with or who has died from cancer. I already have cancer and only God helps me. We continue to be worried about our families and loved ones. The Basra Health Department in southern Iraq says the pollution from oil production is making people and animals in the area sick. The Iraqi High Commission for Human Rights says due to the high rate of cancer in Basra, it's demanding the government work with oil companies to combat pollution. There is no stability for six or seven years. Every two years there is some challenge, political challenge, security challenge. Gas is long-term investment. It needs some stability and it needs some cash and commitment. The World Bank ranks Iraq number two behind Russia when it comes to gas flaring. Instead of polluting the air, the gas could be recovered and sold or used to generate electricity for millions of people. The Basra Gas Company is investing $3 billion to do just that at the Romela oil field, Iraq's largest. Anything that the Iraqi government can do um, or its neighbors can do to create a stable environment is, is good for capturing more gas and for creating a better environment for the Iraqi people. The people of Bahla say the land their families have been tied to for 200 years is toxic. And they wonder how many more of them will get sick before the government can help them. Natasha Ghanem, Al Jazeera, Basra, Iraq. Iran, Iraq's problematic neighbor, has a new president, and in his first speech after his landslide victory, he announced that he would not meet with the U.S. president. Many in the world, including Arab countries, are wondering how Iran will fare or do for the next four years if there are no talks regarding the nuclear deal program. Iraq is doing its best to lower the level of corruption. Two generals have been arrested on suspicion of accepting bribes at key ports. However, the task force against corruption is not always safe. Here we learn Iraqi anti-corruption police officer was assassinated in the southern part of Iraq. Moving on to Vietnam. Here is a list of global e-commerce companies in Asia who are doing business around the world. As you can see from your screen, this pie is broken up between Singapore, Indonesia, and Vietnam, who is holding its own with five of the 12 spots. Surrounding the United States and Iraq, there's something you should know. There is a law in the United States which Congress is now voting to repeal. It's the law that allowed the U.S. to invade Iraq in 2003. This same law was used again by the previous administration to kill an Iranian general on Iraqi soil. It looks like Congress is deciding to protect itself 
from decisions that could cause war in the future. Moving right along, this is our equity announcement investment tip for today. Each share is valued at $6.21, and the company is worth $40 million U.S. dollars with a $497 minimum investment. Let's take a look and a listen. In my entire life, I was uh, diagnosed with anxiety issues, depression. I tried committing suicide when I was 12 years old. I served in the United States Marine Corps for uh, six years. I deployed a total of four times, two times to Iraq, two times to Afghanistan. I had a final suicide attempt right before I got out. I remember feeling really depressed. I had taken my medication. I just came from therapy, but I didn't feel congruent with the society I was reentering. And it was the worst pain in the world. Honestly, all I ever wanted my entire life, not even the military, was just to feel like a normal person. And that device reintroduced that feeling of normality. Our company, Fisher Wallace, makes wearable medical devices that are cleared by the FDA to treat depression, anxiety, and insomnia. Patients use the device for 20 minutes, once or twice a day, and the majority experience symptom reduction within the first week. The device works by comfortably stimulating the brain to produce serotonin, lower cortisol, and modulate brainwave activity to quickly reduce symptoms without the side effects of medication. Patients may be evaluated at home via telemedicine, and we ship the device directly to their door. Today we have over 60,000 patients and 10,000 prescribers in the United States. For now, most patients pay several hundred dollars out of pocket for the device, and we provide a 30-day return and refund policy with 100% free returns. The Fisher Wallace Cranial Stimulator and the manufacturer say